Hi, Sai Uchinanchu and Uchinanchu supporters. Rob Kajiwara here. Today we had some big news happening in Okinawa. It was announced that the five cities who initially refused to participate in the upcoming referendum on February 24th have now changed their mind. And it looks like all five are going to participate. But the cost was fairly heavy. It, so originally there were only two options going to be on the referendum, yes or no. But now a third option has been added. The option is undecided. So yes, no, or undecided. Um, that is a heavy cost, and I will explain why. First, uh, some of you tuning in maybe for the first time to the channel might not be familiar with what's going on. So let me provide some background information on what's going on. Uh, the Japan government is building a new U.S. military base at a beautiful coral reef filled with hundreds of rare species. This uh, base is at a place called Hinoko, located on the island of Okinawa. Um, many U.S. military and government officials in, and even some past um, Japan government officials have stated this base is not important. It's not important for security. It's not important for defense. It's not going to protect anyone. They said they don't even have to build this base at this location, that they could build it anywhere. They could build it somewhere outside of Okinawa. They could build it in Japan, you know. But uh, the Japan government doesn't want it in Japan. They're saying not in my backyard. They don't want that. So and they're, they're forcing it onto Okinawa against the will of the Okinawan people. The, the overwhelming majority of the Okinawan people are against this base. Um, it's an unfair burden. Okinawa already has too much military. Okinawa is just a small island, and yet they're just covered in military. And uh, they're saying, hey, enough's enough. Like, this is, this is too much. We're just a small island. Why don't you put the military in Japan? There's way more land in Japan than there is in Okinawa. But the Japanese are very prejudiced against Okinawans, and so they're saying, nope. Not in Japan. We're going to stuff it down the throats of the Okinawan people. Anyway, so the Okinawan government originally scheduled a referendum to be held on February 24th to allow the Okinawans a chance to vote and decide, yes, we want this base or no, we don't want it. Um, so this is big. This is a huge event for Okinawa. <sighs> but the Japan government has been trying to uh, disrupt it. They've been doing everything they can to try to disrupt it. Pretty much everyone expects the Okinawan people to vote against the base. I think everyone expects that, including Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. However, he's trying to, he's trying to um, manipulate the election process. He's trying to downplay the results and weaken the results. He's hoping that by adding this third option of undecided, that more Okinawans who are kind of on the fence, they're not sure um, about the situation, that they will vote undecided because they don't know. Um, that's what he's hoping to do. So, and by doing that, that'll weaken, the, uh, that, that will lessen the amount of yes votes. You see what I'm saying? And with a fewer amount of yes votes, that m makes it look... Um, it, it just kind of weakens the results. So Abe is trying to, he already knows that the Okinawan people are probably in all likelihood going to vote against the base, but he's trying to, he's trying to weaken the results to try to force his way anyway in Okinawa. Um, he's very manipulative like that. He has no problem bending the law or changing the law whenever it suits him because he's not, he doesn't care about the law. He doesn't care about democracy. Okay, he's he's the grandson of a class A war criminal. That's right, he is. So uh, he's really out to do some dirty deeds, and he has been. He's very prejudiced against the Okinawan people. So uh, by using his dirty politics, he has he and the Liberal Democratic Party of Japan, the LDP. Uh, don't be confused, though. They're not liberal, and they're not democratic at all, okay? So don't be confused by the name. They're pretty conservative. They, they are very conservative, and they're nationalists. They're Japanese nationalists. Um, and they, a lot of them 
don't like the Okinawan people. Not all of them, actually. There are some who are sympathetic uh, to the Okinawan people, but for the most part, uh, they're very uh, hostile against Okinawans because Okinawa was an independent country until 1879. Okinawans, we are indigenous peoples. We are indigenous to the Okinawa to Okinawa Island, and um, we have our own history, culture, languages, identity, and so that's why the Japanese, a lot of them are are hostile towards Okinawans. Yeah. So. Prime Minister Abe, by using his dirty politics, he has been, um, he he managed to convince five, the mayors and the the um, the board, the city boards of five large cities in the Ryukyu Islands or Okinawa Prefecture. He convinced five of them to say that they were gonna refuse to participate in the referendum, because he's trying to get fewer uh, people to vote in the referendum and therefore you know, weaken the, weaken the results, lessen the results. So that would mean if those five cities had refused to participate, that would mean 30% of the population would be ineligible to vote, to cast their votes. So you see, he's trying to uh, prevent people from voting. Like, it's just a vote. It's just an election. Like, that's, a cornerstone of democracy but uh, Abe he, he doesn't care about democracy so so this is a huge deal in Okinawa because it would really it would really weaken the referendum results um, it would even cast uh, uh, doubts as to the legitimacy of the referendum because if 30% is a huge chunk of the population if 30% can't vote um, legal scholars would question whether this was a, a legitimate referendum or not um so what happened is the the leaders behind this referendum today decided to bend to the ldp's request and insert a third option insert that third option of undecided um into the referendum so the trade-off was yes the five cities it looks like the five cities are going to agree to participate in the referendum which is great but it came at a heavy cost because that third option is going to weaken the results um i don't know by how much we don't know okay so i know that some people in okinawa are really mad about this they're, and they're mad at the leaders of the referendum for agreeing to this um what i'm gonna ask for though is please don't be mad at them uh, they're they're doing the best they can and mr jinshiro motoyama he's one of the leaders of the referendum remember he was the one doing the hunger strike okay and people are mad at him now because he he agreed to uh you know insert this third option in order to get the five cities to join what i'm asking for you please don't be mad at mr motoyama please don't be mad at the other leaders of the referendum okay it wasn't their fault it wasn't their fault it's the ldp's fault it's prime minister abe's fault if you want to be mad at someone be mad at them at prime minister abe and and uh uh, the LDP. Please don't be mad at Mr. Motoyama or the other leaders of the referendum. They're doing the best they can, okay? They were put in a very tough position. Um, and um, is this the right decision? Did they make the right decision? I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I hope it's the right decision, and I hope the referendum will go well. But only time will tell. Mr. Motoyama and the other leaders of um the the referendum they are uchinanju okay they are real uchinanju they are true uchinanju they are doing the best they can to serve the people of okinawa and all the ryukyu islands um they're doing their best they have good intentions i know they do i know many of these people personally okay when we have been in contact um they're good people and they're true Uchinanshu. 
So I'm asking, please don't be mad at them. It's not their fault. Um, they, they care a lot about Okinawa. They care a lot about Hinoko. They care a lot about uh, the elderly protesters. They care a lot about the Okinawan environment. I know they do. So if you want to be mad at someone, be mad at Minister Abe. Be mad at the LDP. Please channel channel your anger at them. <laughs> They're not not at not that not at your fellow Uchinanshu. Not at the Uchinanshu who are true pure Uchinanshu at heart. Um they're doing their best. Okay, so please let's not ma be mad at uh, each other. Let's let's not be mad at our fellow Uchinanshu and Uchinanshu supporters uh, all over the world. We really got to stick together here uh, because this is a huge huge battle. Um it's David versus Goliath. We are the underdogs, the heavy underdogs here. We are in David's position. Um, so we got to stick together. Um, um, and you, you know, the Abe and the LDP, they want to cause division among us. They want that. They're hoping for that. Okay. So let's not play into their, their game. Okay. We, we got to stick together. Um, just we, uh, real Uchinanchu and um, Uchinanchu supporters, okay? We have good intentions. We all have good intentions. I know we do. So uh, let's not get mad at each other over over these things caused by by Japan, caused by Prime Minister Abe and his LDP cronies, okay? So that's my message for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. And uh, feel free to leave us a comment down below. Doing these things just helps us spread our message across the internet. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Mata ya.